Really, this is today about the basketball, and it made a lot of sense because uh, it tied in with what GE stood for in the Olympics. And uh, we've always both believed in ASEAN, so it made a lot of sense. Formula One is a whole different ball game, and I think GE is pretty much covered in terms of that by the Olympics. So uh, I don't see that happening. I, I believe our role is really to continue to support the ASEAN region, uh, to help with, uh, with the brand image, and also just to continue to support the, uh, the youth within the region. Uh, for a healthy lifestyle, uh, the value of sports, and uh, competition as uh, you go forward. So again, we're here really just to support uh, the entire uh, basketball league, uh, help with the visibility, and, and uh, support the, uh, the uh, main tenants that this uh, thing was formed around. Obviously, the, the, the league requires funding, and we require sponsors, and GE is one. But the advantage of GE as well is that they have many other ways that we can uh, latch on through some of their corporate programs, etc., to promote the ABL even more. You know, because we're talking to many other sponsors as well, we don't really want to disclose money at the moment. But I think the commitment has been a very solid commitment and a real commitment that we're very happy about. Um, you know, it's not easy for a brand new league, hasn't actually played a game yet, to go out to one of the biggest companies in the world and say, hey, can you... Uh, be our type of sponsor um, when they're used to sponsoring things like the Olympics. It's a big difference. So it shows their belief and vision in us and especially the vision of ASEAN, I think. I think that's what really sold GE on this whole uh, uh, program and the fact that AirAsia was able to deliver an ASEAN brand, an ASEAN product, shows that the future of ASEAN is very, very rosy. Uh, so far we have a uh, three. Uh, but we didn't want to announce the others till we announced our title. And uh, there are three or four more coming in. I think for the, the business people there as well, that there is a, a real business element to this. And if, if you look at the sports, um, the sports income and the sports business around in Europe and America, it is a huge business. And it's a business that hasn't really been exploited. If you look at the probably the most valuable sporting asset now in Asia is the Indian Premier League. In the space of two years, it has created a, a multi-billion dollar business um, from about 12 teams. And really in Southeast Asia, we're missing out on huge uh, commercial opportunities, job creation, tourism potential. And you know, if, if you look at all the kind of properties that uh, a lot of us in this room are involved in, whether it's hotels, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's airlines. Um, more uh, interaction between countries, be it sport, music, etc., feeds the business cycle. And sports in its own is a massive business. They create a lot of economic activity for all of us. And you know, after all these years, this is the first professional league. Um, it bodes well. So this, I think, is the start of many, many uh, enterprises. I think it's great for the economies of ASEAN. Um, and it's amazing what we've achieved in a very, very short period of time. And I'm very, very optimistic that this will grow and grow and grow and other sports such as football, etc., will join in.